This is a part of the Arabian Desert, 20 miles or so from the Persian Gulf. And this is Qatar. Not many people would come here if it wasn't for the oil down below. It's a difficult, lonely place to live in, but one gets used to it. The job's to drill down to find the oil and pipe it to the tankers in the Gulf. It's tricky work and very heavy. We've always got to have in the back of our mind that in oil, we're grappling with some of the strongest forces in nature. You know, the pressure down there can run up to thousands of pounds to the square inch, something no boiler would ever take. And if that gets loose, She went up at midday on Saturday, all 3,200 pounds to the square inch of her. And it wasn't long before the derrick and the upper works collapsed in the heat into a pile of melted junk. We put in a water line from the Gulf, six and a half miles of six inch pipe in eight days. Not that the water stood any chance of putting the fire out, but at least it could keep the ground and wreckage cool, and even the firefighters themselves. We were lucky too. Marin Kinley, an American who has spent much of his life shooting out oil fires, had just come free from another job in Louisiana and flew straight across. Uh, there he is, out there in front, uh, coming onto the site now. The counter-attack had to be in three stages. One, clear the wreckage. Two, put out the fire. Three, cap the well. Job one, Kinley ordered a colossal hook, which was welded onto an improvised jib. The whole lot was hitched to a bulldozer. The driver had to be... You can see the general arrangement with the jib on the trailer. By Sunday, we'd got lashings of water and had put in a sump tank from the trailer pumps for the bulldozer and hook to get in as near as possible. moment now, Kenley will give the order to go fishing in that inferno. Sometimes he'll hook a catch of mangled gear. More often he'll get nothing. The driver couldn't see properly because he'd got to back the bulldozer down. So Kenley on the left there stood on a platform welded onto the bulldozer. That's how he directed the job. On the tenth day, the wind changed, so Kinley had to go fishing from a new direction. After a few hours, he got the two-ton travelling block, but this wasn't the lot by any means. There was still a mass of wreckage cluttering up the wellhead, but at least the fire was a bit neater, so to speak. The only thing to get it away was gelignite, 
So Kinley made himself a bomb out of steel sheet. He mounted it on the end of a piece of drill pipe so that it could be handled and at the same time fed with water to keep the thing as cool as possible. It held, by the way, 450 pounds of gelignite. And three days later, It was all right as far as it went. The well site was reasonably clear. So we were able to start on job two, putting out the pile. First we cleared a path as near in as we could get. Kinley's answer to job two was the same as job one, gelignite, in a drum this time. The idea was to blow out the fire. Okay. Right, got it. We drenched everything with water to lessen the risk of any new fires starting. And exactly 14 days after she went up, we let her have it. Now we had to cope with a column of oil and gas. So on with job three, capping the well. First of all, we had to control the thing by putting a nine foot collar around it. Without the collar, they couldn't remove the flange down at the bottom there. And without that away, they couldn't put on a controlling valve. As a matter of fact, this job was the worst of the lot, and quite the most dangerous. We couldn't be sure at any moment if the whole lot wouldn't catch fire again, and then anyone working near would have had it. It was quite a morning. Luckily, the flange was not too difficult to get off, and quite soon, Kinley was able to give the word to bring up the valve. Right, come on, come on, come on, okay. By now, they had taken off the color. The valve was guided into place down wire ropes threaded through the bolt hole.
Now all that remained was to get hold of that wheel there and shut off the oil. From start to finish, it had taken 15 days. But to some of us out here, it seemed a lifetime. For Kinley, his work was over. Another fire was out. Only the wreckage remained to tell the story. But now the well was capped. The rest of us could get on with our proper jobs. And within a couple of weeks, this well was added to the growing output of Ducan. <laughs>